everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you are doing well today we will start our silicone painting um, as you will notice um, the part I will use are uh, already have some layers on them um, it's because I film uh, each step uh, not in order because I'm doing the same tutorial in French too so uh, it's easier uh, for example when I, I do the veining that I do the vein for all the piece um, so uh, it may be a, a bit uh, confusing when you see the piece but the important thing to uh, to remember and to learn it's really how to use your silicone paint more than the step or the color that I will show you um, for that for the color you can totally follow um, a vinyl tutorial reborning regular reborning tutorial uh, that will totally do the job uh, very well is the they are exactly the same step and the same color uh, the major difference is on the uh, application of the paint. So, to begin, you will have your paintbrush near you. You will have a little cup or a palette to mix your paint. You will have sponge. I have shown you the the paint the, in the last video, the paint you will need to use. Uh, it's not really paint, uh, it's really silicone. Um, I use this one, Psycho Paint. The silicone, uh, if you use this one, if you use any other brand of even plain Ecoflex silicone, you will have it in two parts. Um, the part A and the part B um, because until they are mixed together they will not cure, they will not um, solidify, they will stay liquid so you you will have to mix equal part of A and equal part of B to get your paint to cure on the kit um, that's very important to remember the way you will use your paint, um, my preferred way is with syringe. It's not an obligation to use syringe. I just found them more easy uh, to get exactly the right amount of each part. You can totally use a spoon or a stick to get uh, your, uh, your paint from the container. You will be you will have to be just a bit more careful to really get the same amount of each part if you don't have the same amount your paint will not cure properly I always begin with the part B uh, because just because <laughs> it's um, for me it's easy to remember that I always start with this one so I know when uh, I am mixing my pigment in it that I need to add the part A after uh, if I don't do that and I use either of one of each um, sometime part A sometime part B I will have trouble to remember which one uh, I need to add uh, at second uh, in second um, so it's easy to just start always with the same one. So I will put equal quantity of each. Um, you don't have to prepare a lot of paint unless you think you will be able to uh, to work uh, within about 20 minutes. <laughs> um, it, it will start to um, to solidify a bit and will it will be uh, more difficult to uh, add on the kit so it's better to start with smaller quantity and try to remember how much pigment you have mixed in uh, 
uh, you can always do some tests uh, to see if you're right with the pigment if you have to remake another batch so for for a layer on the whole uh, kit generally I I need about two uh, two milliliter of each part um, plus my solvent but you will figure out how much you really need so I will I have just a head to do today so I will just use about one milliliter of each so I have put my part B I will start with a red uh, there's no, not really any color better than the other to uh, to work with. Um, uh, like maybe you know if you follow me, I use the primary method color. Uh, so I use uh, red, blue, and yellow uh, to achieve my skin tone. With silicone, t you can totally use the flesh pigment uh, you can mix it with white or with brown depending on the skin tone you uh, you want to achieve uh, there will uh, the paint will not become chalky like on vinyl with acrylic paint so uh, don't be afraid if you want to use it uh, the flesh tone uh, you can totally uh, I'm used to my uh, primary color so I will uh, continue using them on silicone um, depending of the color of your silicone the color you will use uh, will not be exactly the same as me uh, some silicone are way darker than other just for example um, I will take the lamp here um, my Steven silicone from Bountiful Baby I'm not sure if you can tell it's very darker than this one so I will use less layer of paint. I will probably use less red in this one than on this one that is very very pale so um, I can't tell you exactly which color to use and uh, which order etc. You will have to figure this out yourself. I presume if you are painting silicone that you have a bit of experience in painting reborn so that should not be very difficult to you. So I will take a bit of pigment, really not much, the tip, the tip of a toothpick. If you have a larger quantity you can have two or three tip full of pigment, really depend. Um, the same as for vinyl I tend to keep my paint very pale for the skin tone I and I um, use uh, more pigment for my mottling for example so you will mix your pigment with your part B it will become paler when you add the part A and the solvent so I will use one minute milliliter of part A and I will mix very 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 well mix more than not enough you need to have those part mix really really well um, if you think you have had too much pigment just add a little bit more or of the paint it will correct the problem I will add a teaspoon a little bit less of a teaspoon of uh, my uh, Novok uh, solvent can use any solvent uh, like I said in the introduction but I will add a small teaspoon that will make the paint more easy to work with 
and also give you more time to work with the paint. If, again, if by mistake you have had too much of solvent, just add a little bit more of your paint in equal part. That seem uh, very liquid. It should go well. Um, be aware that um, if you add a lot of solvent, your paint will take way longer to cure on your kit. So for the painting, I like to work behind the the head and go to the face because if the color is not okay. Uh, I can uh, just correct it and will not uh, show uh, too much. Um, I strongly suggest you that you try your paint mix on a part of the silicone, like the flange, just to see it if will it will cure correctly. Um, for example, to test your sponge, if you are not sure your sponge are latex free, use them to uh, put a little bit of paint on the flange and to see after uh, one or two hours if the paint is cured properly. If it's still tacky, after two hours, your paint is not cured, you will have to maybe change the sponge um, or uh, try maybe to wear a glove or uh, wash your kit more. Um, sometimes if the kit is not washed enough, paint may not uh, cure. Um, so you will have to figure uh, what is the problem. To apply the paint, I just put it on the kit like I would do with a vinyl kit. No need to be uh, really precise. Just put your paint there and with your sponge you will press on it and dab it. A bit like you will do for a uh, reborning. If you have never uh, paint a reborn vinyl kit before, I strongly suggest you begin with the, with that. It's way easier to work with. It will give you experience. It will give you um, uh, confidence. It will be easier after to work with silicone. If you don't want to try your hands on a reborn, that's okay. You will, uh, you will be able to paint a silicone. It will be just maybe more challenging. So I put my paint. And I just pounce it, bring it everywhere. Why I do that is to avoid the paint to drip while I put my paste to cure. I don't want my paint to, to drip. I also want something more pale than that. I want something more subtle. Subtile, subtle, subtile. It's hard to say uh, the things uh, in English, uh, the, the right uh, pronunciation. Then you take your tweezer and you remove every air, lint, everything that have stick your piece. You may have to do that at some point uh, during the curing time. It's really really hard to remove to remove them when it's cure. 
Now, for the head, you can, if you are able to um, suspend, whoops, I have uh, pigment on my sponge. If you are able to suspend the, the head like that, or put it somewhere uh, to cure uh, without the paint being touched, you can do all the head at one time. If not, you may want to do just uh, behind the, the head and do the face later when the back is uh, cured. If not, uh, you will have some paint missing in the back. And the pieces can be very um, heavy, heavy to uh, to hold. Be aware of that if you have some muscular trouble, if your hands, arms are not really strong, you may want to uh, to take some uh, some break at some point. And with your sponge, you really remove all the dripping, all the accumulation in the crease everywhere. You don't want the paint to uh, to curl like uh, some big blob of silicone. So it's about the same the same as for vinyl but um, it's uh, more soft and jiggly, more heavy and more difficult to find a place to let them cure uh, properly. The head is not too bad, I really prefer uh, doing head than the limb. The limb, I, I will not uh, put any color on it today uh, as uh, they are really uh, really uh, dark. I have done the mottling uh, in my French uh, tutorial. But if you want to know how to uh, to paint the limb is the same thing as the head you will uh, brush the paint on it then dab it with the sponge be careful uh, with the crease uh, keep a toothpick near you to remove the excess paint in the in the crease and the difficulty is to really paint all the, the limb to paint. If you just hold it like that, when you will dab the sponge, uh, it will go everywhere. It's too soft. It's re really hard to do it like that. Um, I have air everywhere. Um, <laughs> you can just put your limb on a clean towel and paint one side then when it's cure turn the limb and paint the other side when doing that be really careful that uh, no join is showing that the paint is very well um, blend to not have line of paint so just be careful when doing that. Um, you can uh, force cure with a heat, a heat gun like that. You can force cure. Just be careful to not hold it too close and not too long. To it just takes a few minutes to cure. And if you do that, um, let the piece. Uh, stay uh, too cold before doing the other side because your silicone will be hot 
and when you will put the paint it will cure uh, instantly and you don't want that it would not give you a nice result um, the more the most difficult part are the ends you will have to manage to paint between the finger and they are uh, really soft maybe what you can do is just put paint directly on the sponge and go like that uh, delicately you can do that uh, it's not easy but uh, it's feasible you will be able to do it just take uh, more uh, patience um, if you have an open mouth kit like this one I don't want to touch it too much but this one have an open mouth you will need a little little bit of uh, of wood maybe something to pry the mouth the mouth open can use a stick or paintbrush put like that the mouth will have to stay open when you paint it uh, if not it will close together and you will have to cut it open again later um, so you just try to put something to keep the mouth open while the paint is curing it's not easy to paint and inside inside of the mouth I uh, don't really suggest that you open yourself uh, your your kit mouth um, because it's easy to uh, make mistake and cut open too wide or when going inside the silicone on the corner can tear and you will have to repair those things it's not an easy thing to do uh, the only thing you can open if it's your kit have open eye you will have to open the eye um, just follow the the circle of the eye uh, I will not do that uh, obviously my kids are closed eyes so I don't have to do that uh, but there are some videos online that you can find on how to open eyes on a silicone kit um, it's not easy to do when you are a beginner you don't really know how the silicone react, how it works. Uh, you never have silicone in your hand, so it's not easy to um, to figure out how to hold it, how much to cut, etc. Et um, but if if you want to do uh, to do this, uh, maybe practice on a cheap uh, piece, uh, a cheap head, or a practice face. Uh, if you can find some that's easier to begin to uh, to work with that uh, because yes you can um, close back silicone uh, you can do repair with silicone but it's not uh, it's not really easy uh, when you are a total beginner so uh, that's it you will put as much layer you want or you need to get close to the skin tone uh, you want um, not exactly at the skin tone because you will add mottling later and this will gives you also color for your skin tone so some layer to just bring it more uh, alive um, and uh, after that we'll do the veining and the undertones um, before doing the mottling because you want your vein and undertones to be under the skin so it's easier when it's done in the beginning uh, that's it for today I wish you a very nice week um, please subscribe and uh, get your notification activate if you don't want to, mi to miss the next part I don't really uh, upload uh, at uh, same days each week so uh, it may be easier for you um, if you have question 
euh, Don't Hesitate ou Ask Me in the... Euh, euh, comment, in the commentaire. <rire> How do you say that in English, commentaire? Um, under the video, <rire> you can ask, ask uh, your question there. I will respond to you. Uh, sorry, I'm tired and uh, I have still, I have still the flu. Uh, <rire> I don't remember my English. Uh, so that's it. Uh, goodbye.